Girls and Child Running Magazine and I am here with sports reporter from the BBC Radio 2 Chris Evans Breakfast Show and author of Don't Stop Me Now, Vassos Alexander. So Vassos, is it fair to say that you have now been converted fully to trail running? Um, yeah, I think that would be fair to say. In fact, in fact, to prove a point, look, look what's in my pocket. The okay. trail running, the run a thousand miles buff that you sent me when I became an ambassador for that. And look what I'm wearing. And, uh, it's actually quite cold. It might not look cold, but it is quite cold. Even though Claire's wearing a t-shirt, cold, this, is the, this is what you should be wearing. So this and another coat, Trail Running Magazine. There you go. Point proven. I'm fully converted. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Um, so you've got some quite exciting trail races coming up this season. So next week in Paris, I'm doing the Eco Trail de Paris. Um, I'm negotiated one day away from home, so I'm going to fly out from Heathrow to, to Orly Airport first thing Saturday morning. Uh, the race conveniently starts near Orly and not till noon, which is perfect for me. So I'll just get to the start line, then you run, I think it's 80 kilometres to the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and then it ends at the top, which is excellent. So the, the last bit of the race is running up the Eiffel Tower. So I'm looking forward to that. Apparently there's a party at the top and then first thing Sunday morning back home to look after the kids, but that's going to be great. Um, also the Dragon's Back race, the Berghaus Dragon's Back, I cannot wait. Five days over Welsh trackless mountains, fantastic. And I have no experience of actually of a stage race, of a mountain race, of a self-navigation race. So that's very much in at the deep end, but I'm looking forward to that as well. Obviously I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I, I'm not in yet, I'm not definitely in yet, but hopefully I've applied to do the Spartathlon, which is um, 153 miles, as you know, from Athens to Sparta. Um, kiss the statue of Leonidas when you get there. And um, from what I gather from people who have done a lot more of this than I have, that really is a special atmosphere and a special event. And being Greek, I absolutely felt like I had to do it. Excellent. Well, that sounds really exciting, your race is planned, and that's why you're writing a new book, is that right, about ultra running? I've just really fallen in love with it from, you know, the first one I did was the race to the Stones. I did the South Downs Way 100 miler last year, and that really, that kind of, if I was about to be converted or not, you know, that did it. That completely sealed the deal for me, and I've just, I would just like to celebrate, so that book that you very kindly held up, <laughs> Um, that celebrates running and I've, you know, I'm head over heels in love with running and just to give people a nudge, maybe if they're thinking about starting running or restarting running, that's why I wrote that. And there's lots of inspiring people in there who've been interviewed and what, what running means to them. Well, I'm hoping to do the same sort of thing with ultra running because it's, you know, people think of ultra people, ultra runners, even the word ultra, it sort of, sort of feels exclusive and I think it should be inclusive because I think everyone should have a go because it's just a really lovely world and a really lovely thing and I want to celebrate that. Brilliant stuff. So you're part of our Run A Thousand Miles campaign, you're an ambassador as well. How many miles have you clocked up so far? I was thinking about this on the way up. I reckon, and I haven't kind of counted it up because I don't go I'm in every run, but I think it's probably kind of five, six hundred. That is a lot. I've only done 116 myself. So if you're one of the Run A Thousand Miles people who are feeling maybe a little bit disheartened by all the ultra runners going off and clocking up half a mileage and it's only March, um, what is your advice, Vassos, to anyone who is maybe feeling a bit like they're not running far enough at this point in time in the challenge? Let's run. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just run. run. Yeah. Let's just run. Go on a run. <laughs> well, we're going to do 10 miles around Stamford. I'm going to show Vassos the trails um, of my local area. So um, yeah, we better get you warmed up and, and get going. Let's go on a run. Are you really not cold? <laughs> Let's go. in the world. B, look at this. Glorious church, top of a hill. Yeah. And that's 10 out of 10 scenery. Are you enjoying the oh, run, honey? Holly? Do not look your best with all that stuff. <laughs> do not look your best. <laughs> So we've 
we've done 7.75 miles around Stamford on the muddy paths. Uh, how did you find that, Bathos? I just loved it. I, was, I said to you, didn't I, on the way, you know, running under blue skies, and it sort of feels like the first day of spring. I'm now not cold. I'm no longer cold. I still wouldn't take this off, but I'm no longer cold. I don't know how you can wear that. The first day of spring on new trails with a pal. I mean, that for me, that, there's contentment right there. So thank you. That was great. Yeah, it was a really awesome run. Um, and it was 7.75 miles of our run a thousand miles. So good luck with yours. Keep motivated. And I'll see you on the trails. Go for a run now.